Hey everybody, this is Dr. Dennis Buckley from the California Chiropractic Association. And I have with me on the line the incoming president of the California Chiropractic Association, Dr. Leslie Hewitt, who also is the uh, chair of the Conventions and Seminar Committee. And uh, we're very happy to have Dr. Hewitt on the line with us. Leslie, how are you today? I'm doing great, Dennis. Thank you so much for the interview today. I appreciate it. Leslie is a very good friend of mine, so it's so fun to always talk to her. So, uh, Leslie, you're coming in as the new president, and you're also running the convention, which you've done for like the last four years and done a great job. Let's talk about the convention first. What What's the uh, theme and what's the purpose of it, and why should someone attend? The theme is join the evolution, and join is a call to action. Evolution is the purpose. And we have a tagline, share your story. And what that means, similar to the attorneys, you know, if you go to a PI attorney, you know what you're getting, or a work comp attorney, a contract attorney, a divorce attorney. And what I'd like to see in chiropractic is let's all share our stories, whether it's cash, insurance, PI, work comp, pediatric care, whatever your technique or philosophy The convention is an umbrella event. We have work comp, PI, pediatrics, technique. We have classes for your chiropractic assistants and office managers. And the theme of the convention is to support all in your scope of practice. Now, that is going to be June 2nd through the 6th down in San Diego, and uh, you can go to the CCA website to get more information about it, and I urge everyone to attend. It is an awesome experience. And, uh, Leslie, the CCA over the last, I'd say the last four years, has gone through quite an evolution itself and its structure, and now you're coming in as the new president. What do we have to look forward to, and how can we, as members, support the CCA, and um, support chiropractic in California. Thank you for asking that. We hired an amazing person four years ago that came into our CCA organization. He read through all our bylaws, our codified policy. He took a look at our organization chart, and we had a 20-year long-range plan that he looked at, and he said, this is crazy in this day and era. He says you need strategic plans. They need to be shorter, smaller. You need to shrink the board. You guys are way too fat. You need to just get everything organized. It's taken us four years to get to where we're at right now, and that's thanks to, and I do want to acknowledge, Tracy Cole, uh, Matt Hubbard, and Brian Stenzler for the four years of work that they have done as previous chiropractic presidents for the CCA. So here I am coming in as the incoming president. All the work and all the heavy lifting has been done, and now it's my job to take this new organizational structure into the future. And the future of the CCA is all about the evolution of where we need to go as chiropractors. And it's going to be big work in this next year. So I just want to let everybody know that the CCA is going to see a brand new makeover. We're going to have a rebranding of the organization. There's going to be a lot more media and marketing, and I think everybody's going to be really, really pleasantly surprised. And this is despite your style of practice or philosophy. It's going to be focused and inclusive of all different chiropractors and their practice styles moving forward. Leslie, in the past we've had conversations, and you said that men were so important at the beginning of this profession to get it going, to trailblaze, to fight, to get it established. But now you say it's time for women to come in and raise this practice and have it evolve to uh, take it through uh, adolescence, teenage years, and into adulthood. Could you explain a little bit more about what you mean by the woman's role in the chiropractic profession? For the first time ever in chiropractic, we have over 50% of our graduates 
as women. Now, back in the earlier days, coming from the 1800s moving forward, it was a very male-dominant system, organization, and I love men because you guys have really, really supported and protected our scope of practice. You've really taken chiropractic through some really, really hard times, and here we are. Now we have 50% females graduating, and that's MBA, law, medicine, and chiropractic colleges. The women are really getting involved, and it is my personal opinion, and I'll say it is my personal opinion. I'm not speaking on behalf of the CCA, but as a woman who graduated 17 years ago, I came out in a very male-dominated system, and so I didn't know there was another way. There is another way, and the women are coming out and showing us that there is another way. So what the women want to do for the chiropractic profession is we want to nurture. We want to bring our feminine traits of nurturing and serving and healing with language that serves the 50% of the women that are coming out of our chiropractic colleges right now. And it's not to discredit what the men are doing. You guys are doing an incredible job, so keep up the good work. Let's just create some language that is inclusive and supportive of the women that are coming out. And what the women are telling me is they want to raise families. They want to get pregnant and have babies. They want to have a balanced life between the practice and family life. And what they're saying is the metrics that are in our chiropractic organization don't serve them. And the number one metric of success that has been dominating chiropractic is how many patients do you see a week? And the women are saying that metric does not serve them if they're going to raise families. So we've got to change our metrics of success. And the women want new metrics that are inclusive of balance and raising a family. So um, that would be one of the things that I'd like to bring in as incoming president is language that's going to serve those females so that they don't feel inadequate, which some of them have said that they feel inadequate if they're not hitting the numbers. So let's bring in some new metrics, some new ways of measuring success that's going to serve all of us. So this kind of ties back into the convention because the convention has classes, instructors, presenters that address this issue to create that balance or at least create the uh, ability of people to be a little more flexible and dynamic with their time while being successful and also uh, meeting their fi family obligations. So that's why I know what you've been trying to create over the last four years with the conventions is this place that people can feel secure, that they can come out of inspired, and they go back into their practice on Monday morning, they're empowered. Yes, and so here's the beauty of the convention. It is at a place, the Paradise Point Resort and Spa, where you can bring your kids, you can bring the entire family. There's a beach there. There is a lot of things that the kids can do. The property is gorgeous with pools and, and different activities. Our speakers are speaking to the entire practice. And when I say the entire practice, I mean the chiropractor, the CA, the office manager, the family support system, whether that's your spouse or your partner. And there's, there's going to be incredible activities that are free when you bring your family. We have a boat cruise on Thursday night. We have a beach bonfire party that is really catering to the kids with, um, you know, they can roast marshmallows. We're going to have a bunch of fire pits. We've got a live band. And then Saturday night we have a pool party. I mean, we're not getting into the pool, but certainly the children can. Us adults are going to be chatting around the pool, so it's really a poolside chat. But put your kids in swimsuits and bring them. Let them enjoy the pool while we're all, you know, the village. You know, it takes a village, as they say. And in the mornings, we have yoga on the beach and we have paddle boarding. By all means, bring your spouse, partner, CA, office manager, and children. It is an incredible event that supports the entire family. And that's what I'd like to see 
more of in chiropractic at large is let's support the entire family system and let's also start getting out of the fringe of chiropractic. And that's one of the things that I'll be bringing in as president is I want to get out of our chiropractic village and start inviting people from outside of our organization in to join us and hear what amazing things we're doing as a chiropractic profession. Well, we have a lot to look forward to, not only this upcoming uh, June 2nd to uh, 6th uh, down in San Diego, but we also uh, have a lot to look forward to in the, your new pre- the presidency that you take uh, coming up in June, and we look forward to that. So uh, any last words before we sign off on this uh, enlightening and inspiring interview? I just want to share one thing, and I just posted it this morning on Facebook, if I could share. We live in a world of outrageous pain, and as chiropractors, this is our space. Whether we want to acknowledge it or not, patients come to us because they're in pain. They are so misinformed about health care and medications and vaccinations. The answer to resolving it is with outrageous love. And what I'd like to share that I encourage all of you chiropractors to share with your patients is love is impossible to avoid. So avoid all the bypasses. And a lot of them are using drugs to bypass their symptoms and their pain. And what I would encourage every chiropractor is to start being an outrageous lover and start committing and getting involved and participate. What I love to say about the CCA, and it's why I'm so committed to it, it's the only game in town. The California Chiropractic Association is the number one organization for chiropractors. We lead it. Whatever happens here in California migrates east across the country. So get involved with the CCA and start really participating. And that is my call to action. I can't do this alone. Being a leader is not a position, it's a practice. And I am just calling upon all of you to get involved and to really become an outrageous lover. Well, we shall take up that charge, and we will be volunteers, not victims. I promise you that. So thank you so much, Leslie, for spending some time with us. We look forward to seeing you down in San Diego. I look forward to your presidency next year. Thanks, Dennis. So, everybody, I might have said it wrong. It's June 2nd through the 5th at the beautiful Paradise Point Resort and Spa in San Diego, California. To register, go to www.calchiro.org, register, or call 916-648-2727. Go to the website and see all the great presentations being offered, and make sure you bring your staff and bring your family, and we will see you in paradise.